it. Uh, just had a 30 hour course of Tarot, I just passed my driving yeah. test, absolutely buzzing, it's meant, thank you so much. Right guys, good afternoon, morning, good evening, whatever time you're viewing this. So, I'm Ayub, I'm, uh, I'm second in command of this company. Um, I had a pupil that came to me, uh, how long ago was it? September? Yeah, about yeah, September, October, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, she came to me um, for driving lessons and what we did, we started lessons and uh, a little uncomfortable at first but eventually we got to a standard where we both kind of agreed that she was driving very weak <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so uh what we did then we kind of got together uh, devised a plan and got on with it now there was lots of hurdles in the way uh most importantly the, one of the largest hurdles was uh, um visibility um in terms of the car so we had a couple of issues with the um, car positioning especially um left and right turns so one has to adapt to you teaching uh, one has to adapt to specifically for the client needs so what we decided was the best thing to do was to actually move into um, um, kind of a, a different perspective a different realm so what we did we we moved to change our position now i thought look there's a couple of issues here but what we need to first eliminate is the sort of perspective the understanding of what this young lady has so what I did with my niece here um, I told her to bring a cushion now um, although it's not the nicest thing to do sometimes but it's I'm really happy that she she respected my opinion and she did so what we did we um, she, we, we elevated her slightly in the car and what that did that changed uh, a couple of things she was doing and it kind of alleviated her problems so this um, this has been going on, you know, we've, we've been having lessons for a fair bit of time. Uh, then I've been, then we had a, a test booked in that she wasn't ready for. So respectfully what she did, she, she cancelled it when I told her not to go for the driving test. Anyway, um, then what we did, we've, we've been having lessons and uh, uh, eventually we've got to this standard where, um, uh, with the grace of God, alhamdulillah, uh, she's gone in and she's demonstrated her ability to drive and uh, she's passed. She's passed on her first attempt, and um, with a bit of coaching from Amber and um, some motivation from Uncle Ayub, uh, she's gone in and she's passed a driving test. Now, you know, driving test is between her and her uh, examiner, nothing to do with us, but we need to get them to a standard that we believe uh, that they're able to uh, drive independently. And I believe today uh, she demonstrated just that. So, um, Although I sound a bit calm in the car and I sound a bit miserable, uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm very, very happy that she's passed. I'm actually very proud that she's passed. Uh, and with all the life ahead of her and uh, the busy life that she has, she needs this pass. So it brings her the next stage of her life, which is freedom. Do you know, which means, you know, 11 o'clock at night, she's not waiting for the number 72 or the number 11 or number 14 to pick her up. So what we did towards the sort of end of her uh, sort of learning sort of cycle with me we give a mock tests we went over test routes together and um, she went today she went with the uh, amber in the car she's gone and she's, uh, she's passed a driving test so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, let uh, Aisha talk to you and um, she'll talk out aloud and tell you how I teach and you know I mean I do have a bit of banter in the car but mainly it's it's more about driving so I'm going to let Aisha talk to you guys now and she'll tell you how uh, we were working together. So here's Aisha on my left, which is technically I think on your right. There's Aisha with them lovely smashing glasses. Hi guys. Um, so I passed. So happy. Um, and I, I, to be fair, I was really, really nervous, but um, Ayub banned Amber proper boosted my confidence when I first started taking lessons I could never ever dream of driving around Leeds City Centre and, and Aerials and, and all them places but obviously they, they helped me um, and it, without them I wouldn't have passed um, and I'm so 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 happy so grateful and so so happy so thank you guys. Now uh, Aisha do you know when we started having lessons and then PDFs I was sending you and these little progress reports yes. and sort of stuff does that help you? Oh, 100%. Because what 
it shows you, it gives you a, a proper perspective. You know exactly where you're up to, what you need to work on, what you sound with and what needs more work. Um, and it breaks it down nicely. Um, and especially all the stuff that you do like on the iPad and you show us before we do, like before when you take your lefts and your rights, you show us how your car should be positioned. <coughs> and that really, really helps. So when you were up before you went for your driving test, uh, although I got your minors wrong, I, I, I blended <laughs> it, I said six. I was hoping for five and how many minus did you get? Three! Three. Uh, Amber, what did you predict? Four. Yeah, you see, Amber... Uh, Go Amber! Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she was doing better than me. So, uh, yeah, she passed the driving test with four minus. Now, um, in, in terms of a driving test, you're allowed up to 16. So you're allowed a lot more, but with Uncle Ayu, you're not going to go for your driving test if you're predicting more than, more than seven or eight. So with me, if you can get no more than five, then you go for a driving test uh, and hopefully you'll come out with one or two. Now in terms of, you know, when I said that you'll pass your driving test and mm -hmm. I said believe, yes. when Amber said to you, oh, have hope, yes. do you understand why we yeah. said that to you? Yeah, yeah, I do. I think initially, I think a lot of it is, is just nerve and you, you picture in your bed that the, the examiner's going to be this, this monster, <laughs> but they're not and they're, and they're lovely. And, yeah, and that was in my head, the last thing that you guys said to me was be confident, have hope and believe in yourself. And I think that was a very big thing because definitely on my on my test, I, the nerves did get the better of me. And I thought, oh, but I thought, no, be confident and you'll smash it anyway. And that's lovely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Amber, what do you think then? Did she deserve, did, did she deserve to pass? Yes, of course. Did she, she do well? Yeah. Yeah. Did she work yeah. hard, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. She worked very, very hard. Well. So, so you know when you when you see your old instructor, so, yeah. <laughs> you take a, a photocopy of the certificate and you rub it in her face. <laughs> uh, Just print out loads and stick them all over. Yeah, yeah, stick all over the car. <laughs> yeah. So no, in all seriousness, um, she didn't teach you anything, nothing no. whatsoever, nothing. Literally, she did. You know, um, you only started learning to drive when you came into Leeds. Mm -hmm. 100%. And I think you've done delightful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely proud of you. And I think you've done good. So, uh, in, in terms of motorway, we've gone over at the motorway from your house to get here. So, we do that generally. Yes. But we are going to take a motorway lesson and get you ready for the motorway as well. However, congratulations. There's Yay. absolutely nothing else I can say. Thank you know, you. Thank there's no other you. word. You know, you did really well. Um, and I'm glad you're not driving this damn Audi that's about to turn left <laughs> without signalling, you see. And how do we know he's doing that? He cut across lanes. So no, you've done wonderful. I just met one of my friends there. I haven't seen for 10 years. So his pupil passed. My pupil passed. And we're all happy bunnies. Or rather, Amber's pupil passed. So yeah, you did well. Congratulations. So now, you've actually got rid of us, so you've divorced us. And that's positive. So now we're off to McDonald's. Uh, Ayub has to get his payment <laughs> and then uh, uh, all being well you're done and you can you can be whipping in your car then, can't you? yeah, yeah. yeah so hopefully your husband will be looking forward to it. Can you do me a favour, can you turn this thing off for me?